Hello everyone, so today we're report circulating through Russia's newest S-500 SAM system which was deployed to Crimea about a week ago to protect Crimea from attackers after the S-300 and S-400 failed of their job, has already failed at its job and been destroyed. Now, we don't just have the word of a random Twitter page to go by. The Ukrainian artillery group TVAS posted about it here and the information was apparently originally shared by a test group who do recon operations in Crimea and break the news about the Stenk patrol ship being sunk. So these are more credible sources. I expect we'll get confirmation soon, likely by way of satellite imagery or photos from the scene. The sources hint at videos and photos as well, which are prohibited at the moment. The S-500 SAM system started development in 2010. I see mixed sources for the cost. One article saying one system cost 700 to 800 million in 2020 and up to 2.5 billion dollars in 2023. That's for the entire battery, launchers, radar, command unit and that sort of thing. Russia only has one S-500 regiment in service. This one regiment suggests, if other systems are anything to go by, that it has two battalions, each of which have two batteries, so four S-500 batteries in total. A battery consists of multiple launchers plus radar vehicles and command unit. As with the S-300 and S-400, the radars are the major target as there's just one of each shared between multiple launchers. Take out the radar and the system is offline. Reports said one S-500 was sent to Crimea. I expect that means one battery rather than just one launcher. Now that number's at zero, but we are going to have to wait for more confirmation. If Ukraine has hit S-500, then this is a big embarrassment for Russia, where the newest and best missile system has had its clock cleaned by a 30-year-old missile. The very same missile, it was sent to Crimea in order to intercept, and instead it's intercepted it the way S-300 and S-400 intercepted attackums with itself. Now, I do wonder if that recent attack and strike which was intercepted over the beach was intercepted by S-500 and that clued Ukraine in as to its location and that allowed them to hit it like this. But again, we're going to have to wait for more information. Thanks so much for watching and take care everybody.